With cinematographers constantly striving for their own look, vintage lenses have become one way for them to experiment and incorporate interesting looks that aren't available with modern lens design and manufacturing into their work. There are so many vintage lenses to choose from, but there are only a few that really stand out. The lens we are looking at today is one of those few. The Noct Nikkor 58mm f1.2 is a legendary optic. Today we are looking at TM Camera Solutions' attempt to bring the awesome optic to cinematographers. The Noct Nikkor 58mm f1.2 was produced between 1977 and 1997 and has now become extremely rare and sought after. The lens was originally designed for astrophotography by Nikon, hence the Noct in the name. This means buying a good copy of this lens will set you back around £4,000 and a ton of time hunting and testing. TM Camera Solutions are doing that binning process for you. When they're buying these optics, their hit rate for this lens is only 25%, so if you get a chance to use one of these rehoused lenses, you know it's going to be a great copy. The lens has seven elements in six groups, is coated using Nikkor Luxury Green and has nine aperture blades. Zero Optics are rehousing the optic and making a few changes to improve the usability of the lens for cinema. When Zero Optics rehouse this lens, the only thing being transferred is the glass and the iris. This means that the focus system has been completely redesigned. The focus is now cam driven, has 300 degrees of focus rotation, and it feels great. The build quality is stellar, focus and iris rotations feel smooth and consistent. Those of you who have used Nikon lenses before will know that your focus direction is reversed. During the rehousing process, this is also corrected to the industry standard. On the subject of focus, during the rehousing process, Zero Optic also improved the close focus from 0.5 meters to 0.33 meters. The lens is 8.5 centimeters in length, has a front diameter of 95 millimeters, no filter thread, and weighs around one kilogram. All of our markings are well spaced and clear, and it also covers the Lexus 65, so it will easily cover most formats up to that. For our in-house tests, we shot everything on our Red Monstro in full 8K mode. So let's take a look at some test footage. Starting with Bokeh, wide open, Bokeh is extremely elliptical and becomes more so when approaching the corners. At T2, you can start to see the aperture blades with a buzzsaw effect. At T2.8, this effect is gone and Bokeh is now shaped as you'd expect from a nine blade iris. T4 looks very similar to T2.8. Focus breathing is apparent at all apertures and is fairly noticeable, but isn't overly that bad. Wide open, there is some light fall off towards the corners. However, this is to be expected. T2.8 seems to be the point where it starts performing as it should with less light fall off. You can also see a very small amount of distortion, but nothing too awful. Flares are very nice with a good amount of character to them without being too distracting. Contrast improves when you stop down, which is to be expected, but wide open it is still good in the center with drop off towards the corners. T4 is where the lens starts to sharpen up across the frame and resolve much higher with less ghosting. This lens suffers from a decent amount of chromatic aberration wide open, and that's even in the center. This gets better as you stop down, but there is still some present. We also managed to shoot a few test shots of our lens engineer, Gary. Everything was shot on the same Monstro setup as the more scientific tests. You can really see the lens's distinctive character here. Highlights and skin tones bloom. The bokeh is incredibly smooth, with some really interesting character at points. Well, that's our first look at the Nox Nikkor T1.3 from TM Camera Solutions and Zero Optic. We really enjoyed looking at this lens and it's definitely cemented its place as one of my favorite lenses I've ever used. TM Camera Solutions are planning on releasing more rehoused Nikkor AIS lenses, which I'm very excited to see. But for all future videos, make sure you're subscribed.